Here in Georgia, livestock is big business, one of the many reasons why agriculture is the state's number one industry. But this time of year, there's one particular type of alternative livestock that people find really fascinating. You might even say a tradition. Of course, I am talking about reindeer. Reindeer here in Georgia? Absolutely. Uh, there was a uh, whaler, I think it was a Dutch whaler, brought down some reindeer back in the 1850s. Turned them loose off an island in uh, Savannah, Georgia. The DNR went in and removed them from the island in the 50s, I believe it was. You can look it up, Georgia, uh, look up reindeer in Georgia, and it'll be one of the first things that pops up. But they, they can live, survive, and do well down here. Right. But uh, because they are so expensive and we want them to be happy, because <laughs> we want them to be productive, we uh, try to give them all the creature comforts that we can with a big fan. You can uh, air condition them. Right. Uh, they'll, you'll give them pneumonia, and that's bad. Right. And, uh, but they do well down here. They don't, they don't like the heat, but they can handle the heat. And it gets hot in Alaska. People don't realize, but Alaska's got more mosquitoes than any state in the country. Mm -hmm. So uh, it don't get too cold for bugs. The reindeer have about a five, six week season. We do uh, tons of uh, photographers want to do the reindeer picture where they have the, uh, the reindeer standing up behind their guests and whatever. And we do lots of those in November. We do some shows. We did Town Center Mall the other day where we hitched them up and drove them in. We brought Santa and Mrs. Claus in the sleigh and right up, right up, right up the front door of the mall. And then we park them and let the people get in and out of the cart and out of the sleigh and uh, do that kind of thing. They've got a, a, just a well of a business, five weeks, and then have no. No more purpose the rest of the year. No more purpose. <laughs> if you just turn them off, put them in a box, and send them back to Alaska, it'd be cool, but you can't. Yeah. And it should be noted, our visit to Pettit Creek Farms, not the first for the farm monitor. Back in 2009, my predecessor, Denny Moore, showed us the unique operation and even took a ride on a camel. No camel rides this time around. I did, however, jump at the chance to feed the lovable creatures. Needless to say, a lot has changed since our last visit. We've got two miles of Christmas lights now. Our hay rides, we went from a 24-foot trailer to two 40-foot trailers uh, hooked end to end. And um, it's, just, it's just grown. We're uh, up to about 21 camels now. And we've added in the reindeer. We do a really big pumpkin patch of the maize and all that. And uh, it's just, just growing. And right. uh, now my my children were, were here when y'all were last time. Now my children have children, so uh, it's just the farms growing and getting bigger. And uh, we have a giraffe now, uh -huh. and uh, a giraffe and uh, the reindeer added new attraction. And uh, just life is good. Talk about the lighting display. We see a little bit of it here. What goes into this production? Oh, it's uh, the never-ending production. It's, it's constantly we we build most of the stuff you see here. We've got a fabricating shop up here where we build our uh, Christmas lights. We've got juggling polar bears. We've got uh, uh, teddy bears. They're juggling teddy bears, trucks, and basketballs across the road. You've got sleigh boys jumping the road, deer, snow, snowmen fighting, that kind of thing. But we build all that. My son, he pulls the computer stuff. And uh, we get up there and draw it out and bend it and twist it and paint it and then we bring them out here and light them up so they'll come out and uh, they, they can drive halfway through the farm before they ever have to pay. Right. I got a sign up there that says Scrooge's Grinches and all unhappy people to the right <laughs> and happy people hay rides and lights to the left. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see half of it turn go out to Scrooge Road go ahead and have a good day and that didn't cost you a thing. <laughs> you think I'm kidding but I'm not. <laughs> That's awesome. If you want to come and play with us, we want you to be happy when you get here. We want you happy when you leave. 